كثر الفرق بين هذا الهاتف وبين هذا الهاتف هذا ما سوف نعمله داخل اليوم Picture a vast city emerging from Saudi Arabia's dry landscape, adorned with modern futuristic buildings showcasing the forefront of urban planning. Meet The Line, an upcoming city portrayed as an eco-friendly haven. However, does it truly live up to its green reputation? You've probably come across it everywhere, the architectural marvel that took the internet by storm. Neon. 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 Massive size, 170 kilometers. No cars, no roads. The line remains one of the most talked about mega projects to date. Redefining the notion of urban development offers a glimpse into the cities of the future, a symbol of a civilizational revolution. Its exceptional livability is now on display at the line exhibition in Riyadh, welcoming visitors with open arms. This makes us wonder why Saudi Arabia is building the line. But before we dive deeper, quickly subscribe to our channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on our future uploads. Saudi Arabia is the largest economy in the Middle East and is known for its captivating and ambitious architectural marvels. However, its latest urban project is expected to surpass them all. The visionary behind the futuristic city is Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The line represents a segment of the broader Neon project, which comes with a 500 billion US dollar price tag. There is Oxagon, Trojena, and Sindala, all part of the Neon project. Let's break these features down for easier understanding. The Oxagon is designed as an octagon-shaped port city, located at the southern edge of the Neom area along the Red Sea, and it is expected to become the world's largest floating structure serving as a pivotal port and logistics hub, while the Trojena is planned to become a ski resort located in the Sarwat Mountains, positioned close to the northern part of the Neom area. Encompassing 60 square kilometers, this skiing and outdoor activity destination is designed to provide year-round skiing and will serve as the host for the 2029 Asian Winter Games. Sindala, on the other hand, is envisioned as an island resort, nestled in the Red Sea, catering primarily to the yachting community. This 840,000 square meter island will boast an 86 berth marina, alongside several hotels. Back in 2017, Mohammed bin Salman, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia and Chairman of the Neon Board of Directors, unveiled his visionary project, Neon, to a global audience. But it was not until January 2021 that the initial blueprint for the line was made public. The ambitious plan entails the creation of a sustainable, linear city powered entirely by clean energy. The prince stated that the kingdom aimed to allocate an investment ranging from $100 billion to $200 billion towards materializing this groundbreaking initiative. The line, a beacon for Saudi Arabia's future, challenges the conventional notion of cities that center around cars, streets, and carbon emissions. This groundbreaking concept seeks to present an alternative approach to urban design, deviating from the typical circular layout that cities often adopt. The depiction of the new city bears a resemblance to the backdrop of a post-apocalyptic young adult novel, where inhabitants reside within a 100-mile-long futuristic belt, devoid of cars or conventional streets. This portrayal seems to mirror the setting of a futuristic, dystopian world straight out of a novel. For the Crown Prince, this city represents a major milestone in the ambitious Saudi Vision 2030. He's banking on Neom to become a hub for creative solutions that can combat the global environmental crisis our cities are facing. Neom embodies Saudi Arabia's move to lessen its dependence on oil, taking a leaf out of the United Arab Emirates book. At the same time, it aims to put the country at the forefront of global development efforts. Neom's development is actively progressing, with the commencement of the line's initial construction in 2021, which means that the line stands as one of the most expansive and complex infrastructure endeavors globally. Now, this marvel called The Line isn't just any project. It's a bold response to the very real challenges we face in our urban lifestyles. Think about the growing livability concerns and the pressing environmental crisis gripping cities worldwide. This shows that Neom isn't shying away from this problem. It's diving right in, striving to offer creative solutions that could change the game. With a top-notch team of brilliant minds in architecture, engineering and construction, Neom is taking on the challenge of turning the idea of building upwards into a tangible reality. The venture is primarily funded by the Public Investment Fund, entrusted with managing investments on behalf of the Saudi Arabian government. 
The Saudi development firm, spearheaded by CEO Nadmi al nassar claims that the fund is injecting a substantial $500 billion into the initiative. This is proof to us that the line isn't just about futuristic living. It's also about creating a massive impact on the job market. This means it's set to roll out 380,000 job opportunities, with an eye-popping contribution of approximately SAR 180 billion, that's roughly 50 billion Saudi Arabian rials to the domestic GDP by 2030. Talk about making a splash. What's more is that every single ongoing project under the Neom umbrella is playing a vital role in boosting Saudi Arabia's economy to new heights. Saudi Arabia's pioneering city represents a bold endeavor to revolutionize urban living and sustainability, leveraging cutting-edge design, autonomous transportation, abundant green spaces, and a forward-thinking approach to a technologically advanced future. Right now, the extensive linear construction site of the line is emerging across the rugged terrains, stretching across the deserts and mountains of northern Saudi Arabia, making the tangible manifestation of this ambitious vision. This project pioneers a fresh urban development concept, incorporating various interconnected communities with great pedestrian-friendly areas and natural spaces. Can you imagine a city where every essential amenity is just a short walk away? Emphasizing the well-being of both people and the environment, it also dedicates substantial land for conservation efforts. It is a cognitive city, spanning an impressive 170 kilometers, from the majestic Neon Mountains to the breathtaking desert valleys all the way to the stunning Red Sea. The line is positioned as a vital link between the northwest region of Saudi Arabia and the captivating Red Sea coast. It spans an expansive area with a footprint covering 34 square kilometers. Envisioned to be a bustling hub for innovation and business, the line is expected to accommodate over 1 million individuals hailing from diverse corners of the globe. This transformative city is designed to tackle the pressing global challenge of our time. Let's talk about climate change, urban sprawl, traffic snarls, and that feeling of disconnection from others. The NEOM strategic plan includes all of these, but doesn't just stop there. It's all set to see this population grow steadily until 2030, shaping a thriving and dynamic city that's ready to take on the world's challenges. Every corner of these mixed-use communities is carefully planned to promote a healthy and vibrant lifestyle, with all essential amenities conveniently accessible within a mere five-minute walk. But here's the kicker, it's not just about what you can see. The city is equipped with cutting edge, invisible infrastructure, leveraging sustainable smart technology for utilities and transportation. This fusion creates an ultra efficient and cost effective business hub that's bound to draw in major companies ready to make their mark in this forward thinking oasis. Imagine strolling down piazzas and walkable boulevards, surrounded by lush parks and greenery, where the hustle and bustle of conventional roads is replaced. In this vision, a quick five-minute walk is all it takes to reach automated mass transit or hop into a self-driving car. With communities structured around the needs of people rather than automobiles, you'd find yourself in a welcoming, human-centric urban environment tailored for everyone's delight. And that's not all. Thanks to the magic of AI, these communities are primed to learn and predict ways to streamline life for residents and businesses, giving everyone more precious time to savor the things that truly matter. Even though the project is being marketed as car-free, NEON recently revealed its plans to establish a robust public transportation system, underlining its commitment to accessibility. In collaboration with industry giants such as ICOM and Bechtel, NEON is set to pioneer an advanced transport infrastructure, propelling the line to the forefront as one of the most massive and intricate infrastructure undertakings globally. I bet at this point you might be thinking that's all. You see, NEOM's commitment to sustainability goes beyond transportation. All the energy within this futuristic city is slated to be 100% renewable, harnessed from solar, wind and hydrogen-powered plants. This strategic move ensures the creation of clean, unpolluted urban environments. What's more, the line's infrastructure spine seamlessly integrates utilities, paving the way for an eco-friendly transmission and distribution system. The line also has predictive communities that exist, we're talking about communities that don't just exist, but predict your needs before you even know them. You may be wondering how. This is possible through an intelligent, interconnected system that processes 90% of the data it collects, ensuring there's no digital divide, thanks to the ultra-responsive connectivity. These AI-powered communities aren't stopping there. 
They're on a continuous learning curve, constantly evolving to provide residents and businesses with top-notch services that just keep getting better. Neom isn't just making promises. They're envisioning a city where AI monitors every nook and cranny, devising ways to enhance daily life using data and sophisticated prediction models. Now, the twist of all of this is that the line isn't just about buildings and technology. It's also about nurturing our bond with nature. Surrounded by vast natural open spaces, it's a refreshing change, preserving 95% of Neon's land and prioritizing the well-being of its residents. It's a place where people come first and the environment thrives, all powered by 100% renewable energy. This is not your traditional city. It's a whole new way of life. The Neon project is not without its hurdles. It has faced challenges on its way, particularly in terms of the practicality and architectural feasibility of the endeavor, leaving many to wonder if it's even possible to achieve, as it heavily relies on technologies that are yet to be fully developed. This project has caused arguments about many things. People are worried about sustainability, how good it is to live there, and human rights. Before they started building, they made a lot of people leave, which made a big argument, especially as it's on the land where the Huaitat tribe used to live. Around 20,000 tribe members had to move because of this project, and people are still arguing about it. While the project is touted as environmentally friendly, there remains concerns about its ecological impact during construction. Industry experts highlight potential emissions, with projections of up to 1.8 million tonnes of carbon due to construction activities and materials used. Regardless, the line signifies a major leap in urban planning and sustainability, demonstrating how architecture and innovation design can shape future cities. Do you see the line as the future of cities? Let us know below, and if you found this video insightful, don't hesitate to like and subscribe. We're giving in to more mega projects soon. Stay with us, thanks for your support.